These were the only friends I had. Throughout school, I hung out with them, and at one point, they ended up pushing me against the locker, calling me names, and they even broke my lunchbox where I had to lie to my mom just so she would buy me a new one. Now, I'm not saying I was bullied, but I am saying I was in a bad relationship at the time. Along with the schoolwork I had, it made my mental health drastically worse than it could have been. Now, for everyone out there, whether they have friends, they don't even know if they're friends or enemies, whether it's significant others, peers, or anyone else. You can make sure you're around people that see the better in you, that don't just tolerate you, but they enjoy being around you. This, all again, lets you see the better in yourself, other people, and again, resulting in a better performance and less stress on a college campus. Healthy relationships. So these are just as important as I said. And so you have to make sure you're again around people that don't hurt you because this can be drastic to your mental health. You need to make sure you're around people that bring you up entirely, letting you see the better in everyone else and the world around you. Healthy mind is important, but along with that, and finally, is a healthy attitude. Attitude is how you perceive the world and how you respond to it. A healthy attitude can really, I can't and you can't sometimes personally change the world around you. But what we can do and what you can do is change the lens on what you see through see the world. Through this, we can do through optimism. And one of the ways is through journaling. Every day, if you journal three positive things that have happened, like maybe praise for yourself, someone else, or just something you enjoy seeing throughout the day, this can begin to rewire your brain and see more positive throughout the world. And in turn, increasing, again, the performance and, and less stress on the college campus. A healthy attitude. To also increase this healthy attitude is by compliment. Now, whether it's through a text, an email, or just saying it to someone's face, this is important because, again, along with journaling, praising can really begin to rewire your brain, seeing the best in other people, and also having that person just complimenting their day, making the day overall better. Seeing the best in things can look really let you handle stress better overall. Using optimism to see stress as an opportunity and increased performance at Randolph College, one must have a healthy body, a healthy mind, and a healthy attitude. Many opportunities at Randolph consist to do all these three things. We have a gym, we have relationships, and we have peers all around us where we can bring them up as long as changing our lens of how we see and perceive the world around us. So let's change that statistic at the beginning that I said and not having 85% of students being stressed on the daily, but let's lower that statistic. In 2012, Sean Acker, a respectable positive psychologist, said in a TED talk, your brain is 31% more productive than it is at stressed, negative, or neutral. 